Hey, you guys, it's Voluptuously Skinny, and I'm here with my post-op week seven video for my abdominoplasty and my extended brachioplasty. So I wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on with week seven. Um, I'm also week 176 for vertical sleeve gastrectomy. As far as my weigh-in, I'm 159.4 pounds. Um, I'm still going up and down with swelling, but I'm staying in the 150s. But I honestly would just like to get down about 10 pounds, about to about 149. Um, I don't know if I will. <laughs> my, um, I always say this, my, my hips, I think my, my body's just kind of redistributing because my hips and my, I feel like I, my breast, even though I don't, you know, they're small, but I feel like they're kind of filling out here. And I feel like my hips are filling out uh, some. Yeah, I'll excuse my stuff. I'm getting my stuff ready for in the morning when I run. Um, but I feel like butt is filling out. Thighs. I mean, y'all can kind of really see now, I think. Especially if I get up against. But all of that is filling out. I just came back from working out. Been doing a lot of squats. So I'm thinking that. Yeah, so I'm thinking that I it's swelling and still um and then maybe I'm gaining some muscle because I am doing a lot more strength training. So I'm really trying to build my muscle up and get stronger. So anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm looking like at week seven, and then I'm gonna eat me something. So I have. On. Let's see. Have to take all this stuff off. Uh, show you guys what I'm working with. Sorry, I'm disappearing on y'all. <laughs> um. Ooh, there. So my stomach, my tummy, stomach is. Um. Well, let me show you my my arms first, so y'all can see where I am on my arms. Um, y'all still see the scars are funky. I don't know why that is, but I still feel like he could have taken some more off. Look at that. I'm going to ask him about it. It definitely doesn't look like it used to look for sure, but I just still feel like I have too much skin flapping. So I'm going to ask him about that. And it's still, they feel thick, super thick. So I don't know if that's just flabby muscle or what it is, it definitely by any means does not look like it used to look because it was just like thin skin just hanging down, probably to about right here. And I'm sure if you guys have seen any of those arm sleeve commercials or even my arm sleeve um, review, you'll see where my arms were. So they definitely look better. Gaining some muscle. You know, see? But I don't like that I still have extra skin and so like I said maybe it'll um I don't know I'm just gonna ask him about it and see what the deal is but you can definitely see um what it's looking like there I think you can see that yeah let me see Here's what the scars are looking like. I'll get up kind of close. These were really, really tight. And just as I've stretched them and done the um, kind of the PT that he told me to do, they've kind of opened up a little bit. They're healed, but there it's going to be. I don't know how that's going to look when it really does kind of get old. But they kind of opened up a little bit, if you can see that. And so there is what it looks like going down and it actually looks like it's getting lighter as the time goes and I don't know why on camera actually no that's a pretty good angle right there as far as what it looks like and I know he probably didn't want to get them too thin because honestly when I put them down to the side they just look like they fit me so I'm thinking if he got it too thin Maybe it would look too drawn. I don't know. And then as my muscle 
builds up. Maybe it'll look better. I don't know, but I'm just going to ask him about it. Um, tonight was the first night that I even ran like a few minutes without sleeves. Um, so, but when I put them down to the side, they look fine, kind of, sort of. But for the most part, they look good. Oh, here's this one close up. So you can tell it's really fading really, really, really well. Yeah, you can hardly see that one right there. This is a, is a little dark. It's showing up dark on the camera. That is a little darker in real life, too. This right here is fading out. And then here's the side on this one. And like I said, this one ran into the, the uh, surgery from my breast reduction. So there's actually even a little pull there. Actually, well, actually, it's not as bad. But that ran into that. And then same kind of thing, not as much, uh, but a little bit. The other thing is, like, I still have some hair, some sweat glands, but um, my sweat glands, I don't, I don't really use a lot of deodorant anymore. Um, I don't sweat as much, so it's very seldom that I um, use any deodorant, which is. I'm grateful for. Um, as far as numbness is concerned, these areas are coming back pretty well. There's still like some knots. Like there's a big knot still right there. But for the most part, um, and there's a little bit of numbness, but not a whole lot. I still feel numbness along the incision. Back here, where it's been sensitive, that nerve, it's not as sensitive. It used to extend kind of in this entire area. Now it's just a small area like right in here where I can tell there's a little bit of nerve sensitivity. On this side, the numbness is pretty much gone. Now, as far as my stomach is concerned, my abdomen, um, Tuesday of this week or Monday, I went to the gym for the first time with a friend and we worked out there. And... Um, she, well, the next day I felt I was kind of sore, but it was a weird soreness. Like I couldn't understand why it was hurting so bad because I had not doing anything like any crunches or anything like that because, um, I haven't really been released to do that yet because of the muscle being sewn together and I don't want to like rupture it or pull it apart. So anyway, when I was, um, when I was, I'm gonna try to go down and so y'all can see. But anyway, when I was um, yesterday, kind of just touching the area, um, I noticed that I could tell that my fingers were cold. So the reason, one of the reasons it was hurting so much more is because it was, the feeling was coming back in it. So the numbness is is pretty much going away right in here. It was numb like all in this growing area right here where that incision was i'll show you let's see yeah like right in here and uh kind of down in the growing area was really numb but like all that feeling is coming back and so this area right here i can tell is really sore so this is what of course, y'all can, I, you know, I have extra skin in the booty area. I wish I would put on a different pair of underwear because these don't really give it justice. Hold on, I'm gonna get up and put it in a different pair of undies. All right, I'm back. So, the other underwear, they always make me look bunched up because I do have extra skin still. I told y'all on my back. Gonna have to wait. Extra skin on my back. And then, um, of course, on the booty part. So... They always make everything look bunched up, so I don't think you can really tell exactly what my stomach looks like. But anyway, here we go. Let me go up just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So this is what my tummy is looking like. It's actually looking pretty doggone good. Even though I told y'all I had that extra skin, which still makes me like, ugh. But it still looks good. So this is me. The side, even right here at the top, is going away. That uh, where it kind of beveled out like that, but you can tell most of that's going away. And I wear my compression garments every day, 
Um, and like I said, that area is just getting, it's, you can just definitely tell that muscle is tied together. I mean, it's really tight right there. So stop. Uh, sorry. Um, but this is what the scar is looking like so far. Goes all the way around. So it's, it's healing really well. Very well. Here's that one. All the way around. And then this scar here. You can tell it's fading really well. It's fading really well. And it, it does definitely look a little darker on camera. You can tell my belly button is like kind of spreading out and looking more normal because it was like this, just this straight up and down little line. So that's the other thing I do like about it not being so super tight is that it doesn't look like a cookie cutter belly. Like I see some people's um, bellies and they look like, like you can really, really tell that they had, um, and abdominal plasty because it looks kind of cookie cutter. It all looks, looks the same. So that's one of the things that I do kind of like about the softness of it. Um, but I still was kind of wanting it tight, <laughs> super tight. Um, and I would have loved to be a little more snatched, like just pull it, pull all this skin up. But hey, <laughs> what can you, what can you do? So anyway, y'all, that is my update for now on my arms tell me what you think you think that i should ask him about the skin on my arms or just kind of leave it alone because like i said they look really good with my arms straight down they just look like they fit my body and they're not too skinny um so that i do like and then i still can feel like i can they just look they look normal they look normal and i just feel like i feel like the muscle tone is and it's still early on i feel like i'm getting the muscle tone yeah that i really like so it's still early on i have to give it that standard six uh months that they say before i really start passing judgment <laughs> on what it is but i'm still i'm happy and i'm pleased but anyway y'all this is seven weeks and i wanted to let y'all see what it looked like and uh like i said tell me what y'all think and um i'm gonna try to remember to put my links to sweat coins Y'all, I have been earning so many things. Um, well, I haven't bought anything else actually with my sweat coins, but I've been earning a lot of sweat coins just from moving. Any movement that you do outside, you can earn these sweat coins. And I told you guys that I purchased my Aftershocks um, Bluetooth headphones from earning sweat coins. So I basically got them for free just because I was doing exercises outside. So, um, Y'all follow that link and um, get on Sweat Coins and then um, follow me on there so we can check each other out and see how much movement that we're doing. Um, and I think that is really it. So if y'all have any questions for me, please make sure that feel free to ask me. I uploaded my week six video late so you guys are gonna get a couple videos really close together so anyway i will chat with y'all later because these people are knocking at my door and i'm getting really upset so <laughs> anyway i'll talk to y'all later peace out babies Mwah. <laughs>